Democratic Congressman Raja Krishnamur of Illinois. He is both on the House Oversight Committee and the Intelligence Committee. I want to ask about a lot going on before those committees this coming week. But first, I know you haven't had a chance to read this redacted sentencing memo, but I'm sure you've heard us reporting on it. The gist is that um, Mueller's team is saying this guy should be in jail for the rest of his life. Yeah, thanks for having me on, Dana. Um, I mean, uh, Paul Manafort, uh, Paul Manafort's deceit has now extended to virtually everybody he's met. I mean, his nose is longer than Pinocchio's at this point, and I think that uh, Robert Mueller's had it. And I think it's also a signal to other witnesses and and um, people that are, uh, you know, being investigated that they need to tell the truth in front of uh, Congress as well as to Robert Mueller. Let's talk about what you are going to have uh, in front of you next week, which is Michael Cohen. He is going to be uh, before both of the committees that you sit on that I mentioned, both uh, Intel and, and Oversight. What do you want to hear from Michael Cohen while he is on Capitol Hill? Well, uh, as you know, Michael Cohen was at the nexus of the president's personal uh, business as well as his campaign affairs. And so he literally knows everything about a lot of topics of interest be before Congress. Mm -hmm. um, my personal inquiry will be how did he go from being one of the president's staunchest uh, defenders to being now one of his staunchest critics? Mm -hmm. And um, we'll ask questions about everything from the president's personal finances to campaign finance violations and pretty much everything in between. That would be an oversight. Uh, with regard to the Intelligence Committee, that will be a closed session and that will mm -hmm. be re related to Russia and sure. classified information. Um, the reason, one of the reasons Michael Cohen is going to jail is because he lied to Congress. So what makes you think he's going to tell you the truth this week? Well, I think that's a great question. I think the American people have to evaluate his credibility when he comes mm -hmm. before Congress. But on the other hand, one of the reasons he's going to prison is because he lied to Congress. And so um, he knows the consequences of lying uh, in months and years at this point. And uh, hopefully that's a, a warning to him and others uh, not to lie again before Congress. But you acknowledge, obviously, that your witness even though you're going to be asking very important questions about the Trump organization, about the president, about finances, about, you know, all of those things under the sun, that he's got a credibility problem. Uh, absolutely. He had a credibility problem, and that's why in part he's going to prison. But um, he is going to prison in May, um, and so he's going to be doing some significant time. And, um, you know, at this point, um, hopefully he's at least learned the lesson that uh, lying to Congress means more prison time. And um, someone in his position, I would hope, uh, would want to lessen their prison time, not extend it. One of the things that um, my colleague Chris Cuomo was hearing, the New York Times did some reporting this morning on this as well, uh, is about the fact that Michael Cohen has been talking to prosecutors in New York about the Trump organization, mm -hmm. what the president had called the red line. Um, getting information, giving information about the inner workings of the of the Trump organization. Is that part of the the point of inquiry that you are going to you and your colleagues are going to be following this week? Um, possibly. Um, my understanding is that before the Southern District of New York, uh, Michael Cohen uh, has has basically talked to them about mm -hmm. uh, dealings of the presidential inaugural committee mm -hmm. and a certain witness named uh, Imad Zuberi, who made mm -hmm. an inordinately huge contribution to the campaign committee for no apparent reason. Um, and then the other issue is, uh, you know, with regard to, um, uh, you know, various other dealings of the president and the Trump organization mm -hmm. and uh, illegality there. And so I think that... Uh, uh, these are very serious and, uh, you know, again, I think that uh, we all need to get to the bottom of the truth uh, with regard to those as well. The Attorney General, new Attorney General, William Barr, has not been very clear uh, about no. he's been holding his cards close to the vest about whether or how the Mueller report, which should be given to him, maybe not this week, according to our, our reporting, but probably soon after, uh, whether and how it will be made public, never mind um, given more broadly to Congress. What 
tools do you have now that you Democrats are in the majority in the House to force it over? Well, um, first of all, I hope that Attorney General Barr not only turns over the report uh, to the American people and Congress for them to see, uh, but also the underlying content, the documents that support the report. Um, but if he does not, um, obviously uh, the House Judiciary Committee and other committees of Congress have subpoena power uh, to go after the report as well as the mm -hmm. underlying documents. And we could also call Robert Mueller himself to testify before Congress with regard to holes or gaps that might be in the summary uh, that Attorney General Barr prepares regarding the Mueller report. So subpoenaing the, the report and perhaps even Robert Mueller himself are both actively discussed if you don't get it voluntarily? We hope it doesn't come to that, uh, Dana, and, and that's in part why I believe letters have already gone out to Attorney General Barr mm -hmm. to basically clarify what is, what is he actually going to turn over. Mm -hmm. um, regardless of what uh, Mr. Barr does, um, you should also know that uh, Chairman Schiff and the House Intelligence Committee, we are actively pursuing uh, an investigation of the Russia uh, situation along with certain topics that we believe that special counsel Mueller has not pursued and our plan is to fully release this report at mm -hmm. the conclusion of the investigation to the full ex fullest extent of the law the American people deserve to know exactly what happened in 2016 congressman Raja Krishnamurthy thank you so much a lot happening in your hometown of Chicago today appreciate it uh, yes unfortunately yeah. yes unfortunately.